All right, so in that last video, we created a file. We called it hello.py because we're just saying hello world. We put some code in here. Then we saved the file, closed the program, reopened it, and recalled that file to be run, and it prints out hello world. So in this one, we're going to add to this program, but I don't want to mess up my hello.py file. So I'm going to save this as a different name. So I go to File, Save As. I'm going to call this Hello1. Don't forget to give it the py or the Python file extension. Click Save. And now this is hello1.py, and any editing that I do to this file isn't going to affect my hello.py file. So what I want to do is I want to get some user input. So to do that, we're going to create a variable name. All right, and once again, a variable is just something that you're going to store a value in. You can call it anything that you want. Uh, hopefully you call it something with meaning. For example, I want to get the user's name, so I'm going to call my variable name. And I'm going to set that equal to something. Now to start, I'm just going to set it equal to my name. All right, so name is going to equal David. And then down here, I want to take that variable and plug it into my code so that it says, hello, David, when I run it. Now I could put David in here, but then if I did that, that would kind of defeat the purpose of having a variable. So I'm going to put name in here because name should equal David. All right, now the one problem here is if you can't already guess it, this is going to print out hello name because there's no formatting in here. I mean, it just, you know, if it printed out hello world, why wouldn't it print out hello name? So let's go ahead and run this. We'll save it first, then run, and of course it's getting the hello1.py file, and you can see it says hello name, which we predicted. So how can I get it to print out David? Well, with Python, some of the syntax for this is putting curly brackets around the actual variable name curly brackets there we go so it looks something like that and once again this isn't going to work because we still got one thing to do but let's go ahead and run this file save it and then run and sure enough it just puts the curly brackets around there so what they've done is you have to put an F at the beginning on the inside of this parentheses but before the first quotation mark and that tells Python that it's a formatted string and it's going to be combining text with variables so now if I run this save it and run it you can see we get hello David. So we're getting to where I want to get to, which is getting a user's name. Because right now, all this code does, it's just going to print out David every time. But if somebody else was using this, I want them to be able to type in their name, and it'll say hello, and then their name. So to do that, we're going to get input. And it just so happens that the uh, 
function for this is input. And it looks something like this here. Let me get rid of the David. And when you run this, you're going to put inside here, inside the quotation marks, whatever you want to tell your user. So I'm going to say enter your name just like that and you can see I put a colon down here with a space and that's just for formatting so it looks neat so we haven't changed this so whatever I get back from the user should be stored in name and then the printf or print formatted should print out whatever they enter so if we save this and run it, all right, so you can see we're running the file still. Enter your name. Let me type in David. Run it. And of course, hello, David. And if I run it with a different name, so we'll say Jensen, then we get hello, Jensen. Now the other thing that I want to show you at this point, I talked about a little bit of formatting. You have to know what your code's going to return and you have to pay attention and you know run it as often as you make changes. So when you get to a point where you can check something, make sure you run it and that you're getting the response that you want. Now if I hadn't put a space here, so let me go ahead and back that up, save this and run it. You can see that, I'll use Lily this time, that that doesn't look very neat. It still does the job, but it doesn't look very neat. So let me put my space back in here. Once again, save it and run it. And we'll put Cherish. And as you can see, it looks much neater. Run it and it works. All right, so that's how you get user input, and we're going to be getting input in most of our upcoming uh, problems that we're going to be doing. So thanks for watching, and stick around. We've got a lot more to come.